Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how to fix Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 not recording sleep. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. So, the step 1 is to do, you can simply clean the watch and your wrist. So, before diving into the settings, let's ensure that the watch is in a good condition. So, clean the bioactive sensors you will see at the back side of your watch. You need to be clean for accurate reading. Okay, so use a soft cloth to gently wipe it. Okay, because sometimes when you put the watch on your wrist and a, some dirt or drip can block the sensors to measure your sleep. Okay, so in this case, it causes some issues. So you can simply clean it, the area, okay, before wearing it at night. Also, you can watch your wrist, okay. When you sometimes uh, wear your watch on your wrist and the wrist are dirt or like uh, the sensors are not able to scan your wrist by some hindrance like any cloth or any dirt. So in this case your wrist, your Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 will not record your sleep. Okay. Also you can wear the watch properly. So make sure the watch is snug but not too tight on your wrist identically above the wrist bones for better contact with your skin like when you wear your watch on your wrist you can simple leave two fingers space okay you can simple place your two fingers here and after that you can wear it because sometimes when you wear your watch at the end of the wrist so here the wrist watch will not monitor accurate accuracy okay so you can simple wear it at a above side Step 2. Restart your watch. So sometimes a simple restart can resolve software glitches. So you can simply restart the watch by simple press and hold the power button and the bottom button together. Until you see a Samsung logo on the screen. So once you see a Samsung logo, you can simply leave it as it is. So it will take 2 to 3 minutes to restart your watch. And then you will find that your issue may be resolved. Okay. Step 3. You can simple see that the sleep automatic sleep record will turn on on your watch so to know that the sleep monitoring will turn on on my watch you can simply open the samsung health and then here scroll down and then you will find here a sleep you will see on my screen so you can simply tap on it to open the sleep monitor and here you can simply click on advance and then they will ask you to redirect to your paired mobile phone that will connect with your watch okay so then you can simple when you turn on your watch you will see a window on your watch okay like this here you will see that are three options first one blood oxygen snow detection and skin temperature during sleep so you can ensure that the these three things are enabled okay after that they will simple monitor your sleep at night okay also it can consume a data like your screen temperature your snow detection and your blood oxygen okay and also when you go back from a here a window you will also see here a sleep monitoring table here you can easily identify your sleep score or our sleep factors like physical recovery restfulness mental recovery sleep cycles and many more also here you will see one bar graph or a awake time a light sleep or a deep sleep and many things okay so you will find here by simple pressing a uh, advanced button okay so the step four is a software update so keep your software up to date is a crucial so sometimes a outdated software can cause many issues so to check for a software you can simple go to settings and then scroll down until you find here a software update and then tap on it and then you can click on download and install okay so here it will check for any software update is available if any software update is available you can simply click on download and install button to download the latest version okay so right now my watch is up to date so in this case and after installing a new software and you are still facing an issue so the last option is a factory reset so you can simply do a factory reset to your watch by simple go to generals in settings and then open it 
and scroll down and click on reset and then they will ask for before resetting make sure you can simple remove or reset all the mobile plans and then click next and now before resetting you can simple backup your important data because in factory reset your all data will be removed okay so after that you can simple reset it so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorial goodbye